The pipe is our Bible. In it, it contains all the sacredness of our spiritual beliefs. All of our ceremonies are held in that pipe, spiritually speaking. They take their tobacco and they open it up and they pour it in a pouch. And they throw away the package. And that pouch meant a lot to them. They used to tie it on the side of their belt. Some of you probably still remember those old folks doing that. There was a lot of protocol. There was a lot of prayer. And there was a lot of law and a lot of respect to that pouch. And they, they smoked out of pipes. When they were going to smoke, they'd sit down. They'd fill their pipe. And they would smoke. When I was really small, my grandfather, he had a, what they called a long time pipe. And he smoked it. <clears throat> he had a ceremony in the springtime when the thunder comes. And then in the fall time when the thunder leaves. So he had twice of a year they'd have a, they'd have a pipe. We were also taught to respect that sacred relationship we had to ourselves, others, and everything around us. And um, tobacco is something that's considered very sacred in our cultures. Going back to the sacred tobacco, I, uh, you know, I, I just like to say that I. I heard a few people talk about there's there's ways that you abuse it and there's ways that you use it, you know. And what what helped me through my addictions was putting tobacco out every time, every morning, go out towards the sun, put tobacco out. Even if I got through a day without uh, using substances and alcohol, at the end of the day, before the sun goes down, I put tobacco out. And I gave thanks because I never touched any of those bad substances. And I prayed with the tobacco. It's like the sweet grass. There's three strands. Each one of them represents mind, body, and spirit. When they, when they smoke that cigarette because of all those toxics, they all go separate. We all, we get lost. The teacher over here said she got lost because she smoked that marijuana. And when we, but when we put them all together, like the sweet grass right now, we think as one. That's what we are trying to achieve here. And we will get there. Like someone said, we're all from all four, four directions here. That's the only way, and we have to respect each other. The sacredness, everything has been broken. We, Aboriginal people, Native people, from the Creator, we're given a duty to be the keepers of Mother Earth. Everything that we see on this Mother Earth, the trees, the insects, animals, birds, everything, they have spirit. Those are, our, those are our brothers and sisters. They have the knowledge of the sacred, sacredness of the use of it in our cultures. That is important in being passed down to the younger generations. And there's a kind of that age gap in there where that passing of information was stopped. But if we can bring that back, which is what we're doing here, then I think that's a major key in the success of pushing the, the engagement of the youth. In my heart, the tobacco, once it's lit, the smoke is going to, you know, the, is going to take the message to the Creator for whatever my vows are for whatever I'm asking for when I tell the elder, when I present my pipe to the elder to pray for my family, to pray for me, to pray for the sickness, you know, and sometimes you're on your hands and knees and you're asking Creator to help you and you really rely on the tobacco for that support. Mm -hmm.